I fear Alaska has a hidden profile, which is where all this real business is taking place. Alaska says she has one profile on this dating site to help manage it. I have multiple profiles on the site. In the last few months, I've booked myself at least eight sessions and I had to sneak off to do it. Sometimes I claim I'm just going to the grocery store and I'm out doing a cuddle. Paul knows that I have an obsession with grocery shopping so I can be gone for hours without him even questioning it. Traveling pays the most, so I've traveled out of state three times to do cuddles. Paul thinks I'm only going out of town to do interviews to promote the site. I am promoting the site and doing interviews, but I'm also cuddling. I've cuddled in Beverly Hills, San Diego, and Utah. These trips entail going to dinner, sometimes going for walks, hanging out, talking, holding hands, rubbing, touching each other. Listening is the main thing because a lot of people don't have people who listen to them and spend time with them. Telling people that they're worth it and they're worth your time and just making them feel good about themselves. When I go out of town to see Seekers, I never ever spend the night. One time I went out of town to do an interview and then I missed my flight on purpose so I could do a cuddle. When I do a cuddle session, I wear regular clothes. The Seeker wears regular clothes. I'm not wearing the things that I wear in the sexy videos and the photos. I don't do anything during a cuddle session that would cross my personal boundaries in my marriage. I really don't care what Paul thinks about me cuddling or how he feels. I know it does sound horrible when I say that, but it's true. Okay, so you are meeting up with men and having sessions. Yes. I didn't know that, I thought I was gonna tell him. I didn't know it was just gonna be blasted. I thought at least I was gonna tell Great him. Great timing. <laughs> well, you said it on tape. Yeah. You, you said it. I did. Right? Mm -hmm. Just trust, just trust. You, you, you break trust, that's not, that's not good for me. That's not good. I trusted that lady. She, she told me she didn't do the cuddling. I, if there's nothing I, wrong with it, why lie to him about I, it? I've never said I don't do the cuddling. I never actually said that. That is a, more you of did, an lie you of omission. Did. I, I asked you that and you said you didn't do it. That's not true. Maybe I meant at the time. Maybe you meant you understand, are you cuddling anybody? That's a simple question. I am not doing anything wrong. I was going to tell you. It's just hard to tell you if you don't. It makes it a hundred times worse because now racing around in my brain, is what else were you doing? I'm only cuddling, so. Well, and I've just, only done it a couple of times. Well, you said eight. That, to me, I mean, a few, eight. A... What, what about your safety? Let's talk about that. What's that? I, you know, there's a video chat. You can sit and talk to people face to face on there. You talk to them on the phone. And then it's not my personal phone number. It's a phone number that is provided by the internet and it goes, the phone call goes through and it's an internet call. So I'm talking to people and I decide if I feel like it's safe enough. 